90s. 90s. So 90s. Unlike a lot of 17 year olds, Ashley Qualls doesn't waste a lot of time or money at the shopping mall. She prefers to spend her dollars wisely, like buying this $250,000 house. It's cool to be able to decorate it. I mean, we have a lot of space to decorate now, so I mean, hopefully someday I can just give this house you know, to my mom and my sister. While other friends were busy social networking, Ashley was building a business network that would in just a few short years turn her from a typical teen to a millionaire business tycoon clearing seven figures a year. Give us the high points and then we can negotiate the deal from there. My job is a CEO of a company now. I mean, it's not, I don't go to work after school for a couple hours and then come home and do homework. Ashley saw how her friends liked to personalize their MySpace pages with photos and images. And since she was interested in graphic arts, she began making background designs for them. These actually do really well with the teenagers. They like them really crazy and funky and almost blinding. With $8 she borrowed from her mother, she started a website, whateverlife.com, where anyone could upload her custom designs for free. And because she's a teenager herself, she knew her backgrounds filled with hearts and stars were the latest top 40 song lyrics would be popular. So you want to relate to them as far as, you know, what looks cool, something that's not boring. Almost immediately, the site became a huge hit with teenage girls. A million teenage girls on there a day, and about two million page views. She's become so popular, Britney Spears' manager has talked to her about doing custom backgrounds for the new album. And customers are lining up to advertise on Ashley's site. This is where the revenue is from. Everything on here is completely free. It's just supported by ad revenue. Her first check from the ads was for $2,700. What did your mom say about that? Don't get too excited. You don't know if it's really going to come through. I mean, how can you make money off the website? I said, no, I, I really trust this. I think it's really going to happen. And it did. And my next check was 5000 and the following was 10000 <laughs> But she didn't just blow all the cash on expensive clothes or electronics. She updated her equipment, bought the house, and hired a staff of her friends. It's really cool to have you know, your best friend be like your boss because she's not, she's a good boss. She's not like working at McDonald's. But these days, Ashley only sees her friends after 3 o'clock. The nearly straight-A student chose to drop out of high school to focus on the business. It feels like it all fell into place and this is just normal, but it's definitely not a normal way of life. Even less normal when you consider the fact that Ashley even hired her mother to help manage the business. It's hard to be a mom and a manager. How do you manage this? Oh, uh, with a good sense of humor. As the gatekeeper to a coveted audience of consumers, Ashley herself has become a brand of sorts, inspiring millions of teenagers. And I've heard from so many girls, you know, you've really inspired me. I'm going to school for graphic design now, or I'm starting my own website. So that's always good to hear because, you know, I came from a working class family and $8 bought me a dot com.